Hey folks, we get a closer look at the 6 meter halo. It's made from a folding aluminum lawn chair. It's a half wave horizontal epola polarized antenna. Each uh, side around is about a quarter wave. Where they meet here in the middle. You see inside, I've uh, sleeved it inside with a piece of pipe that just fits inside here, a piece of uh, electrical conduit just fits inside this tubing. And the uh, angle I put on there, that was formerly the armrest on the, on the lawn chair. So I incorporated that into it as well. It was a piece of uh, quarter uh, strap aluminum there for the uh, mount. And of course there's a bracket for the uh, connector. The gamma rod is a quarter inch aluminum rod and on the end I flattened it, drilled a hole and ran a tap in through there and uh, the screw goes right into that so there's no need for a nut, no chance of a nut to fall off. That was done before I cut the gamma rod to length. You, uh, once this hole is drilled you measure f about 15 inches from the center of this and that would be the length of your gamma rod. A little bit of plastic for an insulator for your dielectric and some tubing that just fits the dielectric snug. And of course the strap goes on there. This was part of the launcher as well. It was slats that uh, held on the, uh, some of the, the wooden slats on, on the seating part. Stainless steel hardware. Most crucial part of this antenna is right here. This is, uh, this is the part of the antenna that uh, does all the magic. I have plastic inserts in each end. And what I've done, I've treaded a piece of aluminum rod. So 7 16th diameter. These plastic inserts were actually belong to the plastic bolts. It's part of a set. There's two plastic bolts and two of these inserts. If you buy a package of bolts to put on your toilet seat, believe it or not. So there's toilet seat parts in the antenna. And I have some uh, large heat shrink that holds this all in place. In the center here is the aluminum rod, 7 16 diameter. I just ran a die down over that and cut the threads on there. And you adjust this and you can tune in your uh, resonant frequency. No problem at all. Now you may have to play with the length of this a little bit, usually anywhere between a couple or three or four inches. Uh, it really depends on how big of a gap you got left here. When I cut these original elements, I made this end of it half inch shorter on each one, so I ended up with roughly about a gap. And if this gap changes at all, your capacitance will change as well. Like some, for instance, some loop antennas will have two plates here like two pie plates, uh, I heard one guy refer to it as. And the distance between them and of course the area of the plate will determine the amount of capacitance. And if that distance changes, well of course your tuning will change. So with the treaded insert, that keeps the two sides from going either apart or together. They'll, they'll maintain the same distance in between them. Uh, like I say, aluminum lawn chair, the folding lawn chairs, they're getting harder to find. Most everything the past uh, couple of years now has been uh, plastic and, and so on, but uh, if you're lucky to find, you probably need to. Usually the legs is the part that I used, and the legs usually is uh, different on each set. They're, they're different width, because one folds inside the other one. So. In order to uh, get two the same, you probably need to get two lawn chairs. But you might find them throughout somewhere, or... I was lucky enough, uh, for many thanks to Jeff, you and Jimmy, who uh, gave me one. And another lady provided another one that was being discarded. So, anytime you can recycle something into something useful, I think it's great. And many thanks too to uh, W3DHJ, a gentleman down in the States. I've never spoke to him or... or uh, haven't met him, but I uh, did see his uh, uh, his design on the internet, and that was the inspiration for me to try to build my own. Thanks for watching, guys. It's another beautiful day in downtown Foxtrot.